bro, look at this weather. Last night, as I was falling asleep, I had this realization that today is a once in a lifetime opportunity. And it made me so much more grateful for each day that I get to wake up, each day that I have of my life. Because when you think of our lives on a long trajectory, you know, we, we're only like here in the present moment. And each day consists of what our life is like. So if all of your days are like super productive, then your whole life is going to be super productive. But if all your days are like, you know, just lounging around doing nothing, that's your whole life doing nothing. And I'm not saying like, you know, be productive or don't be productive. You know, do whatever the fuck you want. I'm not going to tell you, you know, this is the right thing to do each day and this is the wrong thing. Live your life the way you want to. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. This is how I live my life and I document it, I suppose. Um, I've literally spent the whole day playing guitar. I did a little bit of deep work because for the last like four or five days, I haven't done any deep work. Like I've got this big goal to get into uni, which is really important to me. And... I've been completely slacking, like I've had like no desire or motivation to do it. And, you know, sitting down on the, to do the, like it's, it's not even about doing the thing sometimes, it's just about starting. We have this like preconceived idea of what motivation is. We think that we need motivation to start something. But when you ride that wave, it's kind of like a sugar high. So it like crashes. And then, of course, your productivity crashes. So the way that we actually get motivation isn't from, like, you know, just being inspired and doing something, rah, and then, you know, falling off completely. Motivation is built when you see progress in whatever you're doing. That's why I was so motivated to do my coding, because I kept seeing, like, those results. Like, every, every other day, I'd, like, you know, do, like, three more, like... Um, three more modules or something and I'd be like holy shit that's really good and then I'd keep going and do a bit more and, and a bit more and, and you know the the progress was kind of like this like compound effect instead of just like linear um and that's the great thing about the motivation it's, it's, it's the same with like any big goal okay if you have a big goal let's say you want to run a marathon but you have never run a mile in your life if you keep thinking about your goal, it's going to demotivate you because you run one mile today, which is the most you can do right now. Of course, you can't run more than a mile because you've never run before. But when you run that mile and then you compare that mile to the big ass goal, it's like, oh, my God, I've got so long to get to my end goal. And that demotivates you. So what we need to do is just forget the goal, the big goal that we've set. It's a good it's a good thing to have a goal, of course. But if you keep comparing yourself to that goal, then you're, you're not going to make it. You're not going to be driven towards it. What we should do instead is to focus on the process that will get us to that goal. Like what we do with each of our days. How did the day go? Okay. So for the first, for the last like four days, as I said, I haven't done any deep work. Today, I actually did an hour of deep work, which is, you know, I've lowered my standards. It's not no longer like four, three, four hours that I was doing like just last week. I've lowered the standards because I know that, you know, if I keep comparing my present self, who for some reason is incapable to do more than an hour of deep work to the version of me a week ago that was doing three, four hours, then it's like, I'm going to get demotivated because I'm holding myself to too high a standard. So I'm lowering those standards. And as time goes on, and as I get more motivated by the fact that, okay, today I did an hour of deep work. That's really good. Tomorrow I might do an hour, or maybe I'll do an hour and a half. And then the next day I might like climb up again and again and again, and then I'll get back to the standard that I had before. And this is like really good, you know? It's the same thing with the running. You run that mile, that's your goal accomplished for the day. Next day you spend an hour, a half an hour stretching. And the next day you run two miles instead. And then, I don't know, the next day, three miles. 
and the next day you have another rest day and then you know that's how you build motivation it's like motivation is a feeling yes but you can literally become more motivated by your own actions you know i dude last night okay at work someone was having like a birthday party they had like this massive chocolate cake and i was thinking to myself like mm, i could really go for some chocolate cake and then I made up this plan of, okay, I'm going to get off the bus two stops early and go to the shop nearby and buy myself a chocolate cake and I'm going to eat that. And when the time came around that I was on the bus, I just told myself like, no, fuck no, I'm going to regret that. And I'm really, it wasn't the fact, like the reason I said no to myself in that moment where I was deciding whether or not to press the bell and get off the bus and go buy the cake. It wasn't regret that motivated me. It wasn't the thought of, okay, I'm going to regret buying this chocolate cake because then I'm going to eat it. It was more that I thought tomorrow I'm going to be grateful that I didn't. And I am. I knew. I knew I would be. Imagine if I just bought myself a huge chocolate cake and I ate that thing like I used to. Why would I do that? I'd rather eat some like, you know, semi-healthy like chicken. So yeah, I don't know where this video is going. I'm just talking about the day as it is. And I hope you're having a good day. I'll talk to you later, okay?